What the hell is all of this for, bro? Like, damn. It's too much, man. What's this one do? Stop and start. I think that's so, like, you know, when the engine stops off the traffic lights, turns off the traffic lights, turns back on. That one is that one. This one is looking like lane keep assist. Off road, heated seats. This is your air conditioning panel, so where you want the air on your side to come. And that's your temperature gauge. You see, that's the electric parking brake. This button here is traction control. This button to lower the suspension by the looks of it. This one, some sort of suspension mode, like probably stiffer suspension or comfort, for example. This one's sport, probably make it a little bit stiffer. Obviously, and the same thing again on the left side, you got your. Um, heated seats and the air conditioning controls up the front here a small AC so you've got a hazard light switch you've got a hill descent that's your rear screen demister your front screen demister recirculating of the AC sync mm, that means you're matching both ACs together so if I press that button this will go to 20 degrees I'm not really touching it though AC max and AC cold so full AC max is just to put your AC on full blast it's not too bad to be fair up on the front there it's just radio buttons and stuff so saw sound info car yeah, it's a lot but anyway i came down here i don't even know if i had looked at my computer i would have never come to be honest because look this is a porsche macan obviously but this stupid computer doesn't have um porsche on it I mean, it does have porsche in it but look where they've put it and this is updated up until 2020 and I'm sitting in a 2014 model right but obviously when you have a will you have a way yeah so we're going to scan it right come down here LMNOP right P for Peugeot there's no Porsche this is a German car but after going to US vehicles and then you get a lot of US vehicles but not necessarily US vehicles yeah but anyway, this is probably like the rest of the world. Porsche. Boom. Going to Porsche. Ignition is on. Automatic ID. I don't think it's going to recognize the car. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's recognized something. Affiliated V6. Porsche Macan. Boom, oh, it works now. Jeez, oh, my nizzle. I was in a TIG one just now because I couldn't find Macan. Alright, we're in business now, so at the moment I want to see what's going on with the anti lock brakes. Coats. Front right wheel speed sensor. Front right wheel speed sensor. For supply voltage for hydraulic power unit below limit. Front right RPM sensor. Signal impossible. Alright, so we got ABS sensor problem on the front right. I don't know what's happened if the wheel bearing's breaking up or the sensor has gone down. So we got that problem. We back out and just do a full scan and see if anything else is flagging up on this car. Nope, nope. So, yeah, so before when I try to do the scan check the car it didn't have Macan in it so I thought I was gonna be in big trouble so then I researched and this car has shares the same platform as the Volkswagen Tiguan so just now I was able to see full codes for this car but in the Volkswagen Tiguan menu what I didn't realize is when I was trying to um, do automatic identification earlier the ignition was switched off so nothing like and um, when I saw oh shit this buttons up here as well um, yeah, when I saw only 911 Boxstar came in Cayenne, I didn't see Mac and I just thought I was in that shit. I can't lie, but we're winning at 35%. Let me pause this and I'll come back to it when it's um, finished so we see what we're dealing with. So, the engine management you got two codes ABS four codes, air conditioning one, all wheel drive five. Front end electronics too. Oh yeah, yeah, it's a hell of a lot of force, bro. So let's just see what they're gonna be listed at. So first one didn't have a description. And second one, ABS sensors, air conditioning, pass, control unit, memory full content. Next one, PSM activation by all-wheel drive clutch. 
temperature too high, clutch temperature too high, switch off condition, a cut, check power control. PSM is that's probably what the engine management is called in this car. Engine management again, engine management again. Warning. Doors front lid open when driving. What? APS failure, parking brake. Check PSM. Check PSM. Everything is pissed off with the PSM right now. Check steering wheel, electronics. PSM speed signal. Maybe the PSM is the ABS control unit. So hopefully, left keypad. Check PSM blood lead. All right. So, um, you know that the front right wheel speed sensor is playing up, right? So I want to do is quickly just clear all these faults. Clear these faults. You just saw it there the ABS and PSM is the same module right so let's go back to this one but the thing ain't even moved what's the sensor saying let's see what the data is So, yeah, PSM button. Let's see. What's that button? PSM button. Yeah, so we definitely know that PSM is ABS ESP. Alright, cool. Let's find this front right wheel speed sensor. Here we go stand still so why is it not happy with the signal you jack up the car and spin the wheels so I pulled the jack and I just heard the air suspension pumping straight away so I say whoa let me not mash up the man's car I need to lock the suspension so to lock the suspension in this car I've got to do this press and hold this button down for like 10 seconds one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and you see it comes up on the screen there level adjust switched off so that means that it's not going to damage the airbags as I try to jack up the car it's a big school boy error that a lot of people make and I nearly made it boy and I heard I just locked it straight away should have recorded myself doing that handbrake is on I want to take the handbrake off to the data so we can see the wheels all right so i'm just going to compare these four 
all right i've jacked up the car so the two side wheels on this side are off so we're gonna check to see Bloody handbrake, it's on again or what? Handbrake is off, but I guess we got a wheel drop back down on the ground. Yeah. Okay. Off the ground. Right, it's because it's four wheel drive, I can't even do it. Well, it's going with this wheel and spinner. Let's see what the data is saying. Absolutely nothing. So you see, when I rock the back wheel, we got something. Let's rock it again to get another spike. She got another spike. All right. I'll spin the front wheel. Absolutely nothing, right? So wild. Wow, well, that is registering something on the standstill. It's moving mad. Okay, so I'm gonna take this wheel off and see what's going on. So wheels off. And there is your ABS sensor there, alright? Also, you got a CV boot leaking. It's a bit messy down there. I'm not unexpected for a car of this caliber, but you know, it happens. So, I've unplugged the sensor. If there's a fault code that was saying ABS sensor disconnected or open circuit, that would tell me that the wiring to the sensor is okay. Let's see what the fault codes are saying now. All right, you see? Front right wheel speed sensor. Electrical fault is a new fault. So, provide supply voltage for the hydraulic power unit below minimum. I don't know if the battery's going flat. Got to press the brake. Clear these faults and see what we get. All right, so let me plug that sensor back in and clear the faults again. Alright, because we're getting this, I want to know for sure, I'm going to have to swap the sensors from left to right to know for sure. So let's get that done. Long team. Alright, so I've just literally pulled up this sensor here. Look. Boom, another leaking CV boot. Oh my god. This car, this guy's had it six months and he said he spent two and a half grand on it already. Here I am today going to charge him again and then I'm finding problems that he's gonna have to spend more money on he's not gonna be impressed mate okay let me just plug this sensor in so we're taking this one out and putting this one in then we're gonna see if the fault swaps from left to right that's ideally what I want to see if not we're gonna have to look at the wheel bearing actually no if it's not it's not the wheel bearing because yeah just for a bit of swap mate otherwise it's gonna get a bit positive right, cool so I'll swap the sensors let me turn the ignition back on Clear the faults and see what comes up. We better go to the left, man. 
Wait. Codes. Front right. What electrical four? It's not an electrical four. They're plugged in, bro. If it's clever enough to know if it's in the hole or not, let's see. Dial it. This one, they're sided as well, man. Jesus. Roll deep, me and my dogs, roll deep. They are sided, so. So probably the pins are all wrong as well. Are different, so this test doesn't even work. But we're not seeing the signal problem. Let's swap them back again. A little bit defeated with that plan, so I've just put them back to how they're supposed to be. They're sided, and I don't know if the pins are the wrong way around. Look at that, though, bro. Oh my god! All right, so I've cleared the fault on the left already, and this is what's left on the right. Electrical fault, then we should clear it, and then it should simply say something stupid like signal error again. Let's see. Alright, so we're just going to change the sensor. I don't know why the hell. But more than likely, you're just going to need a new ABS sensor for the front right. So that's what I'm going to stop. That's where I'm going to stop for now. I'm going to call the customer and let him know we're going to... Just want to put a new sensor on this side. Fingers crossed that'll be it. But I'll let him know that he's got to spend some money on this lot. I can pattern it for him. If he wants. Get it done. But I think he said that he's selling it. He's had enough. Called Euro Car Bus for a sensor. And the man told me that the sensor on the front right is the same sensor as the sensor on the rear left. So they've got like a diagonal system, like the braking systems of cars, you know, back in the days. I don't know if they still like that now, I haven't really looked. But what I want to do is just swap the sensor from the, this rear left to the front right, because I just want to be sure. Sensor was there, it's now in my hand, yeah. sensor is in that's the rear left sensor on the back I'm gonna put this front right onto the back now hopefully I can leave it like that and the force will stop and it won't cause any extra headache and I've gone over my time for this diagnostic this is all of this yeah it's just experience now man it's the sensor back on there and that's the front right sensor the back so let's see what the computer says now Exactly. What do you mean rear right? 
Rear right. It should be rear left. You just can't not notice left to right, bro. Anyway, it's gone rear right. So I'm just changing that. On the back and hopefully the fault codes will go. Alright my people. Hopefully this video is helpful and it can help you diagnose and repair an ABS fault on your own car. Firstly you're gonna need a computer with data. And if you don't, just try and follow the, the steps in another way, like just the other steps without reading the data. Put this guy back together, call the customer, let him know, getting it out of here. But for now. Alright, so I'm just going to talk the wheels up and I also wanted to just remind you that if you ever do something like that, you've got to press this button to put the, um, sorry, to put the suspension back. you got to take it out of lock mode. Yeah, otherwise it's going to stay locked and then you're going to be riding like a donut.